make hey people how's everyone doing today today i'm gonna bring you a new tutorial this time is about the tool that i've been using on the past three months which has saved me a bunch of time you can animate logos you can animate text you can do little videos to promote your social media you can do even stuff for school projects who knows all i know is this saves me a bunch of time when it comes to like animating and stuff like that uh, it's a really powerful tool where you just literally don't have to worry about keyframing i'm talking about the mr horse animation composer link in, is in the description everything that i'm going to show you today it was made with a free tool it's free you can download it, all the information is down below. Disclaimer, this is a paid partnership. However, all the opinions are my own and I'm giving my honest review about the product. I see this tool as a really powerful tool when it comes for like self-promotion, in my opinion. I've been, like I said before, I've been using the tool for the past three months and I'm gonna show you some examples. This is one of the examples. I made this animation for T2C Twitter. Uh, using the tool uh, i just took a bunch of screenshots of discord and then i animated using the tool and as you can see easy as easy as spliffian copy paste the same animation the next example that i have is one hc that i made as an announcement i made the 24 hour hc and as you can see here i start by putting just the um, you know this is just a part of the tool now so these exclusive clips and then $50 price pool, 24 hours to edit, are you ready? This is basically using the tool. Another example that I have that for me is the one that I'm the most proud of was the, the T3C Battle Royale video. This was used with the tool. This part here was none with making the, the intro, but now coming back to the text, See this popping? This was made with the tool. And another example that I have is the one that most of you already know. It's on my Twitch. Just a reminder, every 10 minutes it shows up an, an animation in loop. And basically this is the animation. This is uh, as well used with the tool. I literally made all of these, uh, you know, examples really fast ones I, I would say the this one took me a slightly more time but still i made all of these examples really really fast i can give you an example how this kind of works okay i'm gonna use my discord gif right i make a composition of you know um, 2k resolution i'm gonna call this let's say discord so i drag this over here and how this works after you install it, um, you go basically to Window Animation Composer. This pops out. You can see already. You can see the transition effect presets, pre comps, and sounds. If you go on transitions, if you click here, you're gonna have a, a preview of basically what the logo or any image or even video that you have on the background. Uh, and then you have others that is specifically only for text, but we're gonna go through that in a second. And let's add one appearing. So from, you can choose from the bottom, from the left, right, or top. We're gonna choose uh, from the top. You can apply it in, so it begins with that animation and then it stays forever, or you can just put it out or you can do both. So it has a beginning and end. We're gonna go with that one. We're gonna do apply. And as you can see here, if you close this now if we play see and then you have the out of course if we enable motion blur if you enable motion blur everything becomes uh, looking a little bit more uh, realistic but still i'm gonna disable it for now you have a in like here and the out markers basically you can just move this closer to like i don't know half a second and as you can see, the animation starts to become faster. Um, yeah, the closest it is with the beginning of the clip, the faster it is. The far away, you know, it takes more time to, to do that in. So this is pretty cool. So let's say that I want this to end at like two seconds. What I do is I bring this over here. I crop it to like two, something like this, two seconds. Quite nice. You can always change as well the rotation of the in, so you can make it rotate the way that you want. And then now we're gonna add the text. So for example, join now. 
let's just say join now. Actually, we, we're gonna make two. Bump the, the text right here a little bit and bring the text like on the center. So let's say something like here. And then we're gonna duplicate it, control D and let's put the, the now. So let me just bring this here. Okay, so now we have two texts in here, right? So I want the join now to show up when the logo basically goes away. So I want the text to just appear here. And what we're gonna do is we go to the animation tool again. So we go window, animation composer, we go to um, transitions, and then we can choose a transition for the text, a specific one. We can go with this one and apply both, yes. Yeah, so as you can see, now the animation of the now appears and now you're gonna be like oh but how can i copy paste the same animation basically you open again animation composer you go on the now which is this one we already have everything you go copy uh, preset all and then you click on the text below and you just do paste and it's that simple that's it and you already have like a little animation that you can show up on twitter or something like that you can always like you know mess around with the markers bring this more here so it finish at like four seconds let's say we're gonna delete this one too okay so now if you add motion blur in everything and if you render there we go. Of course, you can add more stuff into it, not just the way that it shows up. Like I said before, you have the effects preset and on the effect presets, you can make it bouncing a little bit. So we can apply this just for the text. Disable motion blur so the things become a little bit faster. See the, the now kind of if I disable join. You can mess around with sensitivity. You can just make it like 10. See what I mean? See, if you feel like you don't want the effect till the end to, to do the same thing, you go to an animation composer and you can go here um, and basically you can add like an out. So you click there and basically what this does is it kind of fades. So it stops um, after this. You can adjust this. You can bring this to like the beginning. So when it shows up, it kind of does that little animation there. See what I mean? Um, they have pre-comps and on the pre-comps you have a bunch of stuff as well. You have backgrounds, you have film transitions, overlays, shape elements, shape transitions, textures and uh, low thirds. Another example that you can use this is for example in, in real life. So we have here two clips and basically imagine that I want to do a transition between them. I go to window animation composer, I go to pre comps and I go to uh, filmmakers transition. So we can do something like, you know, something like this. You can choose where it rotates to the left or to the right. So it's really up to you. If you want to add the sound, you can add the sound. I'm not going to pick the sound. So we're just going to add that. And as you can see where it says cut, you know, it's where it's the cut between one clip to another. So if I play this, let me lower the quality sound. So if I play this now, you will see there's the transition going on there. If you feel like the transition is too much, you can always, um, you know, change this, the end. So you, you bring the end of this uh, composition closer to the marker. This makes the animation go faster. See? There we go. And now you tell me, oh, but I don't want to do stream my lights and I don't want to do any uh, promotion. I want to use this tool as video game editing. Well, on video games, using the free tool, you can use a few things, but you are still pretty limited. They have more extension packs where we can have more transitions and light leaks and so on. Uh, but I'm going to show you what you can do using the free tool. So you go on window, animation composer, we're going to check pre-comps and on pre-comps you have the filmmaker transitions, you go here and the transitions that I think they are really nice to use when it comes to video games is the, the pan and the, the light leaks. So I'm going to give you an example. So if I click here, uh, you can choose from left, right, stop, you know, and so on. In this case, we're going to choose just, you know, the left, you can add the sound if you want, but in this case, we're not going to use any sound. Um, let's add as you can see here if you close this 
you have the marker in the middle that says cut that's where you put the exactly cuts from you know the pov for example and the cinematic so if you play this without changing anything you have something like this so as you can see we have a, a pen now and maybe you know we can adjust this by dragging the end closer to the cut marker and doing the same on the beginning so it's faster there we go can do it even more and if you fancy to have another transition we can go again to animation composer pre comps filmmaker transitions and you can add as well on top of that we can use like the light uh, leak let's see how, how that's gonna look like so as we did it before we put the cut in the middle of the two clips we bring this closer and this one more like this now let's see like try to adjust it and see what looks best so there we go maybe you can add a little bit more of a fade at the end on the on the pan or start it a little bit earlier there we go see like these two transitions they work well together when it comes to video game of course you can manipulate them way more uh, but using the free tool this is what you get like i said on the beginning i use way more this tool when it comes to self-promotion and so on so yeah i want to thank mr horse for giving me this opportunity and uh, for providing such a great tool and uh, i hope to see some uh, more improvements from the tool uh, in the future and i hope this was helpful for the ones that didn't add this installed yeah make sure you download it and thank you so much for watching guys see you on the next one